What's up everybody, Jason Moss here. In today's video, I have another go high level uh, trigger for you. This is one of my favorite ones, especially especially for local businesses, um, but a lot of other type of businesses can use it as well. And this is going to allow you to instantly text somebody back if you miss their phone call, okay? So think about that for a second. Um, as a small business, whether you're like a, a painter, a roofer, um, a real estate investor, um, you know, an HVAC guy, whatever it might be, and you're on the phone with customers, clients, or maybe you just can't get to the phone, a phone call comes in, it goes to your voicemail, um, or maybe it's coming in and you have to, uh, you know, end it real quick, or you they get a busy line or something like that, you don't want those leads to just be wasted, okay, because very few people leave a voicemail. So when that happens, wouldn't it be cool if your system, Go High Level, could instantly send them a text, okay, and let them know that you're going to give them a call back or you can start a texting uh, conversation. So it's very, very useful. Um, this is how you get it set up, okay. So once you're in your Go High Level account, um, and of course, if you need a Go High Level account, the link is in the description below, all right. But you're going to go over to triggers here, all right, and we're going to set up a trigger. Now, there, there's actually two ways to do this. You can do it with the trigger or you can do it with the campaign. Now, the, the easy way to do it, the easy, quick way is with the trigger, okay? Um, you can do it with the campaign, but that's going to have more settings. It's going to have a little bit more control. It depends on what your message is, okay, and I'll show you that. So let's set it up with the trigger, okay? This is how I like to do it. So we're gonna add a trigger here, and we're gonna do missed phone call SMS, okay? Name it whatever you want, all right? And once we're inside here, we're gonna start building out this trigger, all right? So with the trigger, we are going to do uh, call status, all right? So and as you can see, it says runs on outbound and inbound phone calls. All right, so call status. We're going to add a filter here. All right, and then we're going to do um, call direction. All right, and we want this for incoming phone calls. All right, so incoming phone calls. And now we have to add filter because we have to keep defining it on what we want it to do. All right, now we want to choose the phone number. What phone number do you want this to run on? Because you might have a lot of different phone numbers and you would see them all here. So we're going to select this phone number here. We're going to add another filter because we have to keep defining it. All right, and then we're going to do call status. All right, now we have the options on busy, voicemail, no answer, and completed. All right, so I'm going to do this one on all three of these. Okay, so if it's you know, if they get the busy signal, it goes to voicemail um, or no answer. I like all three of those. That's when I want this to run. So what do we want to do? All right. So over here on actions, all right, we have the, the opportunity to do a whole bunch of different things. Okay. The sky's really the limit on what you want to do with these type of, uh, you know, these phone calls. But for this demonstration purposes, we're simply going to do just send SMS. Very, very simple. We just want to send a text back to the phone number. So who are we sending this to? Well, let's come down here, get a custom value. We want contact phone number because the contact is the person calling. So let me just copy this, throw that in there. And then what do we want this message to say? Well, you know, you can say whatever you want, but let's just do for testing purposes. Hey, I missed your phone call. What's up? So obviously you want to change that. Have it say whatever you want. Um, now here's the thing. Like I was saying before, if you want this to only run at specific times, you're going to want to do that in the campaign, and I'll show you how to do that. But once again, that depends on what you're saying. If if you want your text message to say something like, hey, I'm sorry we missed your phone, uh, your phone call. We're going to call you back here in a second. Okay, if you say that, remember, this isn't 
This isn't, uh, you know, defined by a certain time window. So if someone calls your business at 1 a.m. and you have this text message, go out and say, hey, we're going to give you a call back. Well, you're probably not going to be giving them a call back at 1 a.m. So you don't want your message to say that. So that's why I'm just doing, hey, I missed your phone call. What's up? And that encourages them to just text back. All right. So something very simple like that. Now we come down here. We hit save. Let's mark this as activate. Uh, and then let's give this a test real quick. So I'm just going to call the phone number here. And you'll see I got a busy signal because I don't have this phone number actually set up to go anywhere. So I'm going to end the phone call. And there we go. There is the text message. Hey, I missed your phone call. What's up? So simple as that, but very, very effective. I mean, if you really think about that, all the uh, scenarios of how you could set that up, um, we have this set up for some local business owners and they just kill it with uh, missing these phone calls. Like, I'm not saying they want to miss the phone calls, but, you know, every now and then you're going to miss a phone call. And sending out these text messages automatically allows them to capture those leads back. And they actually do a lot of business, you know, on those accidental missed phone calls. You know, this keeps people in their pipeline because nobody else is running stuff like this. So, you know, if you can run something like this, I mean, it's awesome. So let me show you how to do it in the campaign as well. Um, because if you want to send out a message where it says, you know, we're going to call you back something like that you don't want it doing at a um, you know the wrong time so let's go over to uh, marketing and then we're gonna hit campaigns over here on the left all right and we're gonna create a campaign and we'll just name it this phone call SMS all right so here we are in the campaign and you can define it by the campaign configuration if you want. I'm not going to do that here um, because that'll define the entire thing. So depending on how you build out the campaign, that can control the entire thing, all your different steps. You could do it with this situation if you're doing something very, very simple. But let me show you how I'm going to do it. So we're going to add an event here. And we're just going to pick SMS. All right, you can name it whatever you want. And then we're gonna say, hey, we missed your phone call. We're going to call you back in five minutes. Okay, so you could put something like that. And then um, custom time is what you want. So if you're putting a message like this, like I said, obviously you don't want it going out at midnight or whatever. So you, you have your conditions here. Um, you can run it on certain days if you want. Um, start time. Okay, you can do it during only your business hours. Obviously, you have full control over this. All right. And very, very simple. That, that's all you do. Hit save once you have it all configured. All right. So this campaign is completely set up. Now, we have to trigger this campaign somehow. So once again, we're going to go back over to uh, triggers here because we have to tell this campaign to run, right? So we're going to come down here to triggers. Let's set up a new trigger. Trigger the SMS campaign. All right. So name it whatever you want. And here we go. So we're in the triggers and we're going to choose the trigger. And we're going to go to, uh, once again, we're going to go to call status, add filter, call direction, incoming, add filter. We're going to do in phone number, all right, add filter, and then call status, busy, whoop, busy voicemail, no answer, right? Then we're going to add an action. We're going to come over here and we're going to do add to campaign. All right. So the same exact thing what we did with the first trigger. 
um, we're triggering this to add the person to the campaign. Which campaign do we want? The missed phone call SMS campaign, all right? Perfect, you hit activate, you hit save, and bing bada boom, that's it. That's all you have to do, and then once that, once these conditions are met, it runs that campaign. Okay, and remember we set up that campaign to only run during certain hours, and it sends out that message. So that's two different ways that you can do this. If you're doing it a very raw way, and it's more of an open-ended question, um, you know, you just want to start that text conversation, just use the trigger and trigger only to respond. If you want to have more control during that time window, set it up to run a campaign like this. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't, leave a comment below. If this was helpful, smash that like button and also consider subscribing. I have videos like this all the time and I would love to help you out with them whenever I possibly can. All right, but I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.